Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to create a simple view counter using PHP and MySQL. So to get started, we're going to go over to PHP My Admin, and we're going to be using this database right here called Test Database. And some of you guys probably remember we created this uh, a couple tutorials ago, and we also created the Members Table. But we'll be using the database, but not the table. So we're going to be creating a new database called View Counter, and then we're going to have fields. Uh, we're going to have three fields, and then click Go. Now for the first field we're going to say ID, the second one is going to be called page name, and the third one we're going to call it views. And then the first one needs to be an integer, second one needs to be a varchar, and the third one needs to be an integer. And then for the lengths we're just going to have 11, 255, and 11. And the ID we need to make sure that auto increment is checked on. And then the default of views we need to say as defined and then to zero so that it starts on zero views and then it can go up from there. So we're just going to scroll down, click Save, and then we'll create that table within Test Database. You can see it right here underneath Members. So we're going to click on that, and then we're going to go to Insert. Now we're going to, we're going to use this to manually insert some data into here so that we can work with it. Um, in a practical situation, you might actually have um, pages, you might have forum posts or something that are already in your database, you just add the views field and you can update it from there. Um, but for this situation we're just going to manually insert some pages um, because it's a simple counter not an expanded one. So we're just going to um, put index here. And for the page name basically I would assume that if you were using this you would have um, like index page, about page, contact page, um, some of your content pages, if you, the ones that you wanted to track. And it just allows you when you go to your database to look and see uh, more easily instead of a number you see this is the index page. So it just makes it a lot easier for you. So we're just going to click go. And then if you go over to browse, you can see that it's created um, the first line in our database. So the first entry is ID of one. And the reason that we didn't add that back there was because um, it auto increments it. So you don't need, need to add it. It will automatically put a number in there depending on what entry it is. And then the views were already at zero. So you can see we have our first entry. So now we're going to start working with that by using PHP within Dreamweaver. So we're going to open up Dreamweaver and start a new PHP document. We're just going to leave all the HTML alone. And then we're going to start our PHP tags. So we're going to have an open bracket, question mark PHP. And then I'm just going to go down, do a closing bracket, or which is the, the question mark and then a closing bracket. That's the closing PHP tag. And then within this, the first thing that we need to do is actually get um, connected to the MySQL database. So I'm just going to open up the file we created in the last tutorial, um, which I'll just open that up, which is called MySQL Connect and all this data, which I explained more thoroughly in there if you want to check that out, um, will actually connect you to the database. So instead of copying and pasting that and having it kind of look a little bit messy in here, we're just going to include all of that data within one line of PHP. So we're going to say include underscore once, space, two quotes, and a semicolon. And then inside of these quotes, we're just going to type out the file name. So mysql underscore connect dot php. All right, so um, you may need to update your um, directory. Like if you had it in a scripts folder, then you'd have scripts slash mysql connect. But um, for the most part, if it's in the same folder, then you're just going to leave it without anything else. So you just need to make sure that you update your directories in order to um, make sure that it will run. So the next thing that we need to do is actually um, run a MySQL query when the page is run. So in order to do that, you're just going to run a MySQL query because it's going to automatically run. It's automatically going to connect and it's going to run this whenever the page is open because you don't really have it in an if or else statement that it's regulating that. So we're going to say MySQL underscore query. And then I'm just going to type this out. Um, it's a open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon, and then inside the parentheses we're going to have two quotes. And then inside of that, I'm just going to type this out and tell you what I'm typing, and then I'll explain it so that um, it's a little bit more fluid. So I'm going to say update in all caps, view counter space set in all caps, and then we're going to have um, we're going to be using the key that's right next to the one key and right below the escape key. Uh, it's called a back quote, or I've also heard it called an acute. So we're just going to press that, say views, another acute, or another uh, back quote, and then a space equals space, and then back quote, views, back quote, plus one, space where in all caps, space ID equals, and then a uh, apostrophe, and another apostrophe, and inside of those we're going to put a one. 
So here's what we've got. We're starting the MySQL query, and then we're updating view counter, which is our table name. So we're updating the table name, and we're setting views to views plus one, where ID equals one. So what that means is that it's taking and going into our table, and it's setting views, which is currently equal to zero, to zero plus one. So views plus one. And it's only doing this where the ID is equal to one. So if you had other pages where it was ID of two and say it was an about page, then it would leave that alone because it's only updating the um, the page where it has an ID of one, which is our index page. So you want to make sure that you have that in there so that it doesn't update things that are not, um, it's not really supposed to be updating. You don't want it to update all of them. You just want it to update the one um, that's specified. So we'll specify it as the ID of one. So the next thing that we need to do, um, actually we can probably test this right now. If I do file save as, and we do simple counter dot, well, simple counter. We'll save that right there. And then we're going to go to the internet. And we're just going to say localhost slash. And then what do we call that? Simple counter dot PHP. So I'll hit enter. And you can see that it has run, but it hasn't done, like, you don't see anything. But it actually has run all that PHP we just typed. So if we go to localhost, or this uh, PHP my admin, and we go to browse, which will basically refresh it, you can see the views have gone up to 1. So it's gone through there and added one view where ID equals 1. So now if we just go back and refresh it again, it should be 2. So we'll go to browse, it's 2. And you get the point. If you keep refreshing it, then you can just browse and it goes up accordingly. So now you have basically a view counter working behind the scenes, but you might actually want to um, take some of that data and put it out onto where you can actually see it. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're going to open up um, Dreamweaver again, and right after this we're going to go down and we're going to basically assign another query to a variable, and then we're going to do some stuff with it. So I'm just going to start out by making that variable. It's going to be a dollar sign SQL space equals space, and it's going to be another MySQL query, so I'm just going to copy this line, save time, because it's the same format. Then we're going to paste that, and we're going to get rid of all this update everything, and we're just going to leave the quotes and the parentheses and everything. So inside of this we're going to say select, and then we're going to use the shift 8, which is the asterisk. So select that from view counter, and then where in all caps ID equals and then apostrophes one. All right, so what this is doing is it's setting all of this data equal to this variable. And what all of this data is, it's, is it's selecting all, which the asterisk means all in PHP, so it's selecting all from view counter where ID equals one. So when I say that it's selecting all, what I mean is it's going into this table and it's taking the ID, it's taking the page name, and it's taking the views where ID equals one. So it's getting all three of these things and bringing them into uh, our PHP. So now we can't really actually do anything with this until we actually extract those separately. So we're going to do that by um, creating an array and then taking each thing specifically from that array. So it sounds complicated, but it's not it's not too bad. So we're going to say while, and then open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then another, um, actually we're just going to say two open parentheses, two close parentheses, and then we're going to have an open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, semicolon. All right, so inside of this first um, parenthesis here, we're going to say, we're going to be creating a variable called row. So we're going to say row, uh, dollar sign row, space equals space, and then it's going to be MySQL underscore fetch underscore array. So it's going to be getting array and an array from a certain data. And so inside of the second set of parentheses, we're going to be putting where that array is coming from, and that's from the first variable, which is dollar sign SQL. So you can see where it helps to create variables out of this stuff instead of actually taking and putting all of this in here, we just put in SQL. And it, makes, it saves us a lot of time and a lot of confusion from looking at the code. So now that we have that, um, sorry, I think I already explained this, but basically it's saying while this variable row is going to be an array of all of this data. So it's going to have all three in it. So now we need to specify each of those. So we're going to create variables for each of those things. So we're going to say dollar sign ID, space equals space, 
then dollar sign row, and then we're going to be using a square bracket, two quotes, and then a closed square bracket, semicolon. Now inside of these quotes, we're going to be putting what the corresponding um, thing is within the table. So we're going to say ID, um, this variable of ID is going to be equal to the uh, field of ID within the array. So we just need to make sure that this right here is equal to the things that you set for the field names within the table and then you're going to be alright. So we just need to copy this and we're going to do this for the other two. Alright, so we had page name and then we're going to say row page name and then we want it to say uh, views and views right here. Alright, so basically let me just recap this. We're setting this entire query equal to one variable and it's getting all of the data from the table. Then we're taking that data and we're putting it into an array. Then and we're setting that equal to a variable. Now from each of those variables we're extracting specific things from the array and assigning them to variables. So basically what all of this has done for us is it's put the number one inside of this variable ID and it's taken and it's put the name index within that and it's taken this right here where it says uh, views and it's taking and putting in a number that's changing dynamically. So now what we're able to do is actually use these variables to render out that data. So we're going to go down to body and we're just going to enter a couple times and you can put in a table or whatever you want. I'm just going to type it out and we're going to say there are and then we want the number of views. So we're going to start a PHP tag because when you're in HTML you want to make sure that you signify a PHP tag rather than just using the variable. You don't want to just use a variable, you want to open your PHP tag, so the open bracket question mark PHP space and then we're going to be printing out, you can also use echo which I've talked about in the previous tutorials, but we're just going to say print and then space we're going to use views. So dollar sign views, which is that variable that we created right here, which holds the views from the database. And then we're going to have a semicolon, space, question mark, close bracket. So now it's saying there are, and then a number of views. So we're just going to say views. So there are this many views on the, and then we're going to have another one, and we're going to put the page name. So we're going to say copy, paste. And then we're going to have page name instead of views. So we're going to say there are this many views uh, on the index and then page. So space page. Let's put an exclamation point. So I'm just going to save that. And then we're going to test it. So we're going to go to our document here. And we're just going to refresh. And it says there are six views on the index page. Refresh it. There are seven views on the index page. Eight. 9, 10, and so on, and you can see it just keeps updating every time you refresh the page. And it's going to refresh really quick because there's not really that much here. If you had images and other stuff, you wouldn't be able to just click through like this. Um, but it would update that. So if you browse in your database, you can see it's updated it there. And you can basically just use this for a quick view counter. Um, I actually use this on my website. Um, I use it for forum posts and tutorial views um, to calculate the views on that. Now, I mean, there's nothing really to stop people from just refreshing the page a million times. Um, you can actually just go into the database, and if you wanted to edit this, if somebody gets out of control, you can you can mark it back down. Um, but since it's not, um, it doesn't really need to be super accurate, um, you can use other things for that. This is just basically a graphical display. If you wanted to make it more accurate, you could do an advanced uh, counter by actually setting the um, the IP address of people that view the page and then making sure that it doesn't add in an extra one for um, people that have already viewed it and then that would be a lot more accurate. But for uh, a general purpose this works perfectly fine. So um, I would recommend using this on on things that you don't need to have a super accurate view count on. Um, so I hope you guys learned some PHP in this tutorial. Um, this right here, this MySQL uh, query right here is very important. Uh, this one right here, basically whenever you're getting anything from the database you're going to use this. So uh, I hope I explained that well enough for you to understand it. You learned about includes um, and you learned about how to actually print out some of the variables within that. So um, if you didn't want to learn about the counter, hopefully you learned about some of the PHP um, as far as coding it with it. So um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, there will be more PHP and MySQL tutorials to come. And thank you for watching this video.